Hey guys, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can uh, create a reference lines here in the chart. So for example in the bar chart many times we want to create the uh, reference line. So for example total sum of profit, let's say we want the average profit as a line or maybe some static line maybe around 300k. So, so just to understand which uh, section or which bar is below the uh, target and which is above the target. All right, so let's go into the edit. And over here in the add-ons, you have the options of reference line. So remember that I have selected this chart, but let's say if I want to select this chart, a reference line will be created for this one. So make sure that you understand which chart is selected. So let me select this one and add the reference line. So let me add the label which is target and let me add the color so by default black is fine i'm okay with that and i want the uh 350k as a one uh which i want to use so 350 okay and now as you can see my target is over here right so similarly if i want to add over here and add a reference line let's say again target and uh, reference line expression and i want to add a static line which is uh, around uh, 4 million so okay give me one second guys so over here 4 million line is added similarly if i want i can do it over here so i'm leaving this uh, adding a reference line to you as an exercise now i want to come back and uh, show you that uh, not only this but if i want i can actually go into the expression and uh, i will say average and i will say profit average profit and click on apply so as you can see target is going really down there 181 and everybody is performing well below above of the average so you can the main idea is that uh, you can basically make use of uh, average or other functions which is related to uh, to your chart and the reference line and make use of it similarly over here if i want as an expression i can simply say average sales and accordingly so maybe here it is an issue that it is uh, has not put the expression so let me sum or maybe average sales and apply and now it is 1.78k which is very low but i just wanted to show you about that not only uh, you can use the static number but the expression as well and uh, which is making sense in case of the charts and you once you're done come back and see it in action Right now it is not visible because it's right there on this uh, x-axis. But maybe in your uh, in your case when the, when it is more meaningful, let's say you want to add sum or some other by some other expression, you can be basically use it in your chart. So that's about how you can add both static as well as dynamic lines. Because if I select anything, let's say delivery truck, you will see that the line will accordingly. Uh, change the value so for example I've selected delivery truck appliances and now the line is changing based on that so that's a benefit in case of static line obviously it will not change and will not give you the right value so depends on what our needs are we can either have a static line or we can even have the uh, relative line which is relative to the selections that we are making so that's about it in this video uh, for the reference line and I will meet you in a new video new topic